Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, I showed how I was building on my existing clear book that holds all of my government documents that I need for something very important. And in that video, I showed how I used post screws combined with clear book refills or document pocket sleeves, as you call them in the US, to make a document holder that already contains everything in a single fat volume. In that video, I used the 1.5 inch post screws, which was the longest that I could find locally. I will link that video down below. But of course, that 1.5 inch binding could not hold for long because I keep adding to the volume and will continue adding to it. So I thought I might as well order longer post screws online and here they are. I ordered a set of two inch post screws which I already placed on my clear book, as you can see. Now there is still some space on the post screws, which allows me to put in more content inside. The entire volume feels a little loosey-goosey because the, the posts are not completely filled. It wobbles, but that's okay. The screws are very secure. Nothing is going to fall out or come apart. And there are um, six post screws in here which adds to the stability just in case one screw accidentally screws off which it is not likely to do anyway five more post screws will still remain and keep the volume together the longer post screws I found are also of better quality as well here is the 1.5 inch post that I used to be using which I have already taken out the longer post is shinier, smoother, and it is also heavier. Here is how their screws look like in comparison with each other. And here is a view of the bottom. Now I just need to put these 1.5 inch post screws into their own Ziploc bag with a label, just a handwritten label, so that I can already place them in storage. I can use them for a different volume in the future or give them to my mother. As for these 2 inch post screws, I actually bought them in a set of 10. These were not listed individually, you can only buy them in sets of 10. I only used 6, so I had 4 left which I also placed in a Ziploc bag that I wrote a label on. I also went ahead and took out my other post screws from their original packaging. These are the shorter ones that I purchased in a store a couple of weeks ago. I showed it in a vlog which I will link down below. The original plastic comes apart easily and it looks cluttered with that black and red label so I prefer storing things in Ziploc bags. I purchased these bags at Daiso by the way. They are very useful when I'm organizing things and putting them into storage. Here are the 0.75 inch post screws and here are the 1 inch post screws. There is also another set of post screws that arrived for me in a different packet. I, <laughs> I have totally forgotten that I have also ordered these. These are slightly shorter than 2 inches and they look and feel to be of the same material and quality as the 2 inch post screws that I just showed you earlier but they are thinner like the diameter is smaller. Can you see the difference? But that is all right. I know it will not affect the stability of the volume if I use the thinner ones someday. And by the way, I have only partially placed the screws on there so you can better see the difference in the diameter. With normal use, you should screw them you should screw them in completely into the posts. The thinner posts that were slightly shorter than 2 inches also came in a pack of 10. And I am placing them into their own Ziploc bag with a handwritten label. In anticipation of the never-ending growth of my clear book as I go along gathering all of the um, government documents that I need to complete, I also purchased even more post screws. But this time I found another seller that listed them per piece. I didn't really need 10, I only needed 6 at a time, and ordering these per piece saved me a tiny bit of money. Just a tiny bit. And see, I was right. They are Chicago screws. 
That's what they were called more than 20 years ago, but now they are called Post Screws, but this seller still calls them Chicago Screws. These ones are labeled 70, which means they are 70 millimeters long. And as you can see, they are indeed exactly 70 millimeters long, which is about 2.75 inches. I also ordered six pieces of the 60 millimeter post screws or Chicago screws, which is slightly shorter than 2.5 inches. I have a strong feeling that in due time, I will be moving to either of these longer post screws from the two inch ones that I'm already on. I will link all four different sized post screws in the description box in case you're interested in buying them. The sellers also have them in super long sizes like five inches and the listing will be linked down below. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.